Hi and welcome everybody. My name is Chris from Teacher and Student and in this video I will show you how to restore your Moodle courses after you have created a backup. Restoring your course is basically the second step of copying content from one course to another. Restoring happens after the first step, which is the creation of a course backup. How I explained in my previous video, you have created a course backup file which you are storing somewhere on your computer with all its course activities and resources in it. Now in the restore process, we take that backup file and copy all activities and resources into another Moodle course. Just for your information, this other course can be in the same Moodle site or even a totally different site. So you can, for example, develop a course on your private Moodle site, take a backup of it, and restore it in your official organization's Moodle site. Let's now restore a Moodle course. It's super easy to do. There are a couple of ways how you can do it. I will show you my favorite way first. You navigate to the Moodle course that you want to restore the backup in. This could be an empty course, or you can also restore your backup in a course that already has content in it. In my case, I have created a blank course without any activities or resources in it. Once I'm in the course, I click on the gear icon and select Restore from the dropdown. This will navigate you to the course section where you can upload your backup file. By the way, if you have created the backup in the same Moodle site, you are able to see all the backups that you have created stored in this area. So if you like, you don't even have to find the actual file that you're storing on your computer. You could simply go ahead and click on the restore link of the backup you want to restore. I have created my backup in this Moodle site, therefore they are all displaying here for me. So theoretically, I could just click restore and the restore process would start for me. In this case, I don't want to do that though, because I explained in my other video to keep your backup files in a separate storage place to get it out of Moodle in case your Moodle site crashes and you then don't lose your courses. So that's why I go one step back and upload my backup to the top section here. You can click on choose a file and then search the backup file on your computer. What I prefer to do though is drag and drop the file in the upload area. Once this is done, we click on restore and what you can see, it takes me to the exact same page that we've seen when I clicked on the restore link before. This page is basically just an overview of what is included in the file that you're about to restore. So we just click continue. Now this is a very important page because you have to decide how you want to restore the backup. You have two major options to do that. The first option is to merge the backup into this course that you have selected. So that means if you already have content in your course, the backup gets added to the course on top of the existing resources and activities. When you select this option, it might happen that the content gets a bit mixed up and you would have to rearrange the order of a couple of elements later. The second option you have is to delete existing content and after that, add the content of the backup to the then empty course. To be honest, I never choose this option because I rather restore a backup in a new empty course than overriding an existing course. And that's exactly what I'm showing you here. Remember, we have created an empty course to restore our backup in. That means we don't have to delete anything. We can just merge the backup into this course. So that's what I select. Once selected, I click the continue button of that section. Please don't make the mistake of clicking the continue button in any of the other sections. The next page presents us with yet another overview that shows which type of content you would like to restore. I usually leave everything how it is. If you want, you can always delete items later in the course. So we click next. This page now gives you the opportunity to select particular resources and activities that you want to include or exclude from the backup. Just untick the checkbox if you don't want a particular part to be included or leave it checked if you want the part to be included. I always leave everything checked and click next. Finally, this is the last page that just shows you what you have selected in the previous pages basically. Everything looks fine. 
to me. So we hit the perform restore button. Moodle then automatically starts the restore process and after a while gives you a green notification that the course has been restored successfully. In my case, that went super quick because I barely had anything in my example backup file. For you, the restore process can take a lot longer, especially when you included big files like videos in your backup file. You can now simply click on continue and check if everything has been imported as you have intended. So this is the easiest way to restore a Moodle course. I still quickly want to show you another way because some people might prefer that way. What we can do is click on site administration, select course from the top bar and click on restore course. As we did before, you can now upload your backup file here or click on one of the backup restore links as I've shown you earlier. This will bring you to the overview site that you already know, so we click continue. Now you have the option to either merge the backup in an existing course or delete the content of a course and then restore the backup. The difference this time is that we have to select an existing course that we want to do the backup for. We can select one of the courses from this list, which displays all courses that we currently have in our Moodle site. Remember, we didn't have to do that before because we directly went into an existing course and started the restore process from there. The other option you can see here is to create an entirely new course with the backup. So all you have to do is select a course category from the list. In my case, I only have one course category on my Moodle site. So I select miscellaneous as my category. And now we just go through exactly the same process as I've shown you before. But this time as part of the restore process, we also automatically create a new course in which our backup file will be restored to. And this is how you can easily perform your course backups. I hope the video was helpful. If you like, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more teaching and learning related videos. Thank you.